Եկին պավոր ուրախ եմ ձեզ Հայաստանում նորից տեսնելու համար, բայց խոսում եք թեմաների մասին, որոնք ունեն մտահոգիչ երանգներ, նախ կծանկանայի հստակեցնեիք խաղողության տեսլականի վերաբերյալ ձեր պատկերացունները հանգամանքը, որի իրավական գնահատականը դուք տերևը չեք հնչեսնում այդ ու հանդերց ակնհայտը հայրուր հազարից ավելի հայեր արցախից բրնի տեղահանվել են և եկել են Հայաստան։ Եվ իմ հիմնական հարցը ձեր խո� Հայաստանում ժողորդավարության հետ ընթացի տարբեր դրվագների վերաբերյալ, այդ թվում Հայաստանում կաղվանտարկյալների արկայության մասին է խոսում, կաղաքացիական իրավունքների և խոսքի ազատության սահմանապակման Um, there was a lot in your question, needless to say. Um, so I will, I guess, focus on, on the last part of your question about democracy. Um, you know, I come at this question uh, with a global perspective um, and seeing a very significant backsliding or setbacks for democracy all around the world um, and uh, where election results are challenged in my own country, uh, uh, where civil society is uh, increasingly muzzled, where gatherings like this one cannot occur, where citizens like you cannot criticize their government for fear of getting locked up. And so, in no way uh, am I here uh, to, you know, give a, 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 an outsider's report card on, you know, the status of every aspect of Armenia's democracy, but just taking a broader view, um, there have been significant developments in this country uh, over the last five years that have entailed, um, a broader liberalization for the media, for citizens, and specifically when it comes to the fight against corruption, more transparency, uh, an effort to get access to the assets uh, that really belong to the people of Armenia uh, but that have been stolen in the past did not put the interests of, of the Armenian people first. So, um, you know, it is uh, absolutely, uh, you know, valid for citizens of this country uh, to be raising concerns along the lines that you have described. I think our uh, approach as USA is not to back any particular individual or government, but rather look to see is there something that the United States can do to strengthen the institutions, to strengthen the checks and balances, um, to broaden the space where criticisms are received. Uh, with regard to the peace process, I would, I would just say that uh, all of the issues that you have described um, are issues that will have to be addressed if there is to be a lasting peace. And, you know, I am in Armenia, I'm emphasizing the benefits of peace here in Armenia, um, but the benefits would be very significant for the people of Azerbaijan as well. And I think there's uh, even recent polling, public polling in Azerbaijan that indicates broad support there. Uh, but the issues that you raise, including the state and prisoners, uh, uh, and the treatment of prisoners, and all for uh, uh, human treatment and the rights of those prisoners to be respected and fair trials, uh, all of those issues uh, have to be addressed and progress have to be made.